Hey guys, it's Anna and I'm back again today with another thrifted lookbook. I've been really enjoying doing these. It sounds weird to say it like that. I've really been enjoying doing these videos. But so I've been having a lot of fun doing these because it gives me a chance to wear some of the clothes that I haven't even worn yet that I've thrifted from forever ago. Yeah. Let's just get into this. But first, I want to mention some of the makeup that I put on my face today, just because I thought I would. I've been really enjoying them, and some of the stuff is stuff that I just started trying out. So the first thing I want to mention is just this. I got a sample, and I've had samples for a while now that I'd gotten from when I placed orders from like Ulta and Sephora. So this is the Becca. It is the new backlight priming filter. It is the, I don't know, yeah, it just says backlight priming filter. This is like the little flyer thing from the sample, and then you get the little sample right there, and you just kind of tear it off. But this one, I actually really, really liked how it turned out, and I tried to leave a little bit in here so I could kind of maybe show you guys how it looks. Um, it says on here, it just says light filter glow. It's infused with three unique pearls to add light behind your complexion while extending the wear of your foundation. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I really liked it. It literally made my skin look like mermaid skin or something. It's got a really nice like iridescence to it. Um, so it's not like a glitterness in the primer. It's just a really nice like sheen and it just like blurs everything. This was really nice. So in it you get a little bit of the product. Let me see if I can maybe get a little bit out. Right now I tried to leave some. There we go. That's a good amount. And so then... Oh, that's too much. Okay. And it's not going to go, right? Because I put way too much. And so if I move it, like, to right here, maybe it'll show kind of. But it just gives, like, a really nice iridescence to it. And I just really think it looks like mermaid skin. Let me take this off now. That was a lot more in there than I thought. And it smells good. Oh, I don't know. I really like the smell of it. Mm, it smells like mermaids. So I tried that out today, and I actually really liked how it made my skin look under my foundation. And then, what next? I've been really, really, really enjoying my e.l.f. This is the Cream Contour Palette. This, OMG, I have been, like, in love with this. And it's so inexpensive. I can't remember how much this is now. Um, it might be, like, $10, maybe? But I usually use this color right here, and then this one just, like, at the very tip top of like my contour but I've been really really liking this and it's so inexpensive there's so many cream contours out there but this one is great for the price so really like this one and then next I really I started reaching for this NYX illuminator again this one is in the color ritualistic it's just the white one and I don't know I've been finding a new love for this I usually layer my highlights so I usually go my elf highlight and then a different kind of one like a different brand highlight this is the one that I used today I really really like it not much to say about it and then I found a new product for my eyebrow but it's basically the same exact color as the NYC one that is like a holy grail for me because it's only like three dollars but I picked up this one. It is just the styly, styly Style. So it's just the Styly Style flat um, pencil. This one is in, I think, color 407. It might be Tokyo. I'm not sure. But it's one of these, like, flat pencils, so it's not round. So I really like this one. I find that I use it a lot slower than using, like, a normal round pencil just because I feel like you use it like flat you use less product you go through it a lot slower these are a little bit more pricey but you do go through it so much slower um, and I think this is a good color for my eyebrow color matches perfect loves it and then last but not least this is taking a lot longer than I thought I'm so sorry so the last but not least is obviously what's on my lips today I'm just using this one it is the Rimmel London it was from like the Kate collection I guess do they still do that don't know it's just a nude color this one is in oh it says on here it's the lasting finish by Kate lipstick it is in the color Rosetto it is number 14 let's just get into the outfits here's another thrifted lookbook I hope you guys enjoy if you do please give this video a like and please if you haven't already subscribed to my channel so you can see when I post more of my thrift hauls and more of the thrifted lookbooks so let's just get into this okay so here is the first full outfit very simple 
<clears throat> lost my voice very simple and like casual but kind of sporty with the track top on top um so this is pretty much oh my pants look awkward this is like basically a full thrifted outfit um the track top is thrifted it is by the brand fila it is i think it looks like something you would get at like target though right maybe but i really like this one it's just got like a zip up in the front and like a little bit of a collar no hood which is nice so i feel like you can kind of get away with wearing this at work since it doesn't have a hood i would wear this on like a friday this is like a friday work outfit to me and it's got like little pockets and then these pants omg i'm in love with these pants they are such good quality these are page denim jeans these again were thrifted which is like amazing because they're in perfect condition perfect length and everything and i love the like dark wash of them so it says page it's got the little page denim thing right there and then the pockets on them are like really plain which is nice but they're just so dark wash so pretty so there's the whole outfit so simple easy straightforward <laughs> get a little closer for the shoes, I'm just wearing like a rounded toe heeled boot. Um, these are actually pretty tall. They're not like booties. Um, but I like how they look under the pants and they're not too fussy. So they're not like, oh my gosh, do we look at the shirt or do we look at her shoes? Because they're just rounded plain black. And they're actually these ones. They're just these ones. They're kind of scrunchy. And they go up to like my calf. Um, I think they're Diba brand, but I know they're from... DSW so here is the whole outfit again a little bit further away I just really love how like kind of like simple this looks but it's still so cute and like I said this is definitely an outfit that I would like wear to work on like a Friday like a casual Friday it's so comfortable but I think with like the dark wash of the jeans it makes it like what's the word acceptable yeah and then just like a plain tank top underneath not even that big of a deal it is kind of thick so I feel like this is more like a cooler colder weather type look still because it's gonna be too hot in the summer right yeah show you guys too just like the more bottom half of the outfit but if you can see the shoes see they're so like no fussy with the shoes so really like it you still get a little bit of heel so it just makes you stand really nice in the pants and then I'm too short so these pants need heels anyways but so yes that is outfit number one this looks really awkward because my light is down low but if I'm like hi hi so bright <laughs> okay so here is the complete second look again it's really simple but it's still like sexy and like put together at the same time so i really like this one too this is more like a casual like day date look like going out for like lunch or like an early dinner i would wear this super cute okay, look at all these shadows that was lower but so i added some earrings for this look too just because I didn't want anything too crazy, so I just added, like, a really nice, like, diamond stud to it to be a little bit glamorous, but not. And then I love the detail on this. This is just the bodysuit from FashionNova.com. I'm finally putting it with an outfit. So got that on. But so it's just a lace up and lace a detail. And I really like how when this is like closer together in the front, cause like it just like shapes around like your collarbone really, really nicely. So I like that. So I'm trying to move around and like find the light, but the light's all the way down here. I'd have to be like, hello guys. This is just a bodysuit from Fashion Nova. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I got it a while ago. I showed it in a haul that I did from Fashion Nova. And then the jeans are thrifted, which is crazy because they're amazing. They are just Levi's and they're, I, they might be boot cut. Are they boot cut or flared? They might be boot cuts. But I really like the like, um, the wash of these throughout the thigh and like the booty area. There, the booty area, and there's a the little Levi's tag and everything. 
I really like these. Again, these look best with heeled boots just because of the length because I'm like short. My shoes are just the Steven by Steve Madden boots. All of these two are in that boots collection video that I posted to, so they're all in there if you wanna see a better look at them, but they are just a Steven by Steve Madden. They're from DSW. They go up high. They're like up to like my calf or something. And then they're a really nice pointed toe and then they're all leather. Love these so much. So I always gotta back it up some for you guys. So here is some more of like the full outfit, just kind of like this. It's like a nice way to be casual, but still look put together and still look like, mm, come hither, come hang out with me <laughs> type look. So I really like this one. And I was going to put my hair up in like a bun, but I just felt like that would be too much. It would look like I was like trying way too hard. So I just have my hair nice and down. Just let it go crazy. And then another thrifted part of the outfit. I wanted to go in and add a bag to at least some of these outfits. This is a Banana Republic all suede bag that I thrifted a while ago and I've been slowly DIYing it. So I DIYed the chain that I have on here. It's actually two necklaces put together that I had gotten from Nordstrom Rack and I just made it into a chain, like added little hooks or whatever on it, the clasps, just like this. This purse is still definitely under construction, but I mean, as a thrifted purse, all, not, I don't think it's faux suede, I think it's real suede, but all suede loves it, and it has little feet on the bottom. You see that? Leather and feet on the bottom, Banana Republic, yes. But so I like this one because it's silver, so it's kind of matching with my earrings that I have on. You might not see it from here, but so. That's with the purse and everything. And then it's big enough since it's still daytime, you wanna be able to carry like all of your stuff around with you. So, likes it. So that is just this full outfit like that. And again, you guys can see all the pictures. I'm slowly still working on my blog, so please bear with me. But you can see all of the pictures on my blog as well, and definitely my Instagram. They get put up there on my Instagram super with the quickness but so yeah see if you have the silver with like the silver earrings i just think it looks like really nice it just like matches really nicely and this color this like cream color is like giving my skin life today all the way life <laughs> here is like more of like a bottom half of the outfit too i like the way the pointed toe boots show like underneath the pants, the jeans, because of like the cut of them since they're like that boot cut. Yeah, these are definitely boot cut. Here's the bag. I wanted to be able to show you guys the bag a little bit better, but it's so pretty. I've shown it in a thrift haul before, but so here's the chain. This is actually like two necklaces put together. Like there's one of the links that's actually really messed up because this was such a strong, sturdy chain that it was so difficult to make it longer since I had to put two together. So this one's all kind of messed up if it'll pick up and you can see how it's still kind of open right there while the other ones are so close together that's another one that could come apart and then I'm still DIYing it so right now it's kind of butchered a little bit but I'm in love with it I gotta find a kind of way to make like the closure because I don't like how this can like open up so easily and then like stay open it just doesn't carry as nice and then I kind of want these to be able to stick together closed but I'm not sure, I don't wanna mess up the suede too much, so. Okay, and so for outfit number three, what? JK. Okay guys, so this is outfit number three in its entirety. Is that even the word? I don't know, I just talk sometimes. Um, but so I wanted to kind of recreate one of the looks that Kylie Jenner had done a while ago. I don't know if you saw it, but she had like really nice slacks on and then a really cute crop top. It was like casual, but it still looks so put together and so cute. So I wanted to kind of recreate that in like my own style with my own things and obviously with thrifted pieces. So. Here it is. The top is just this like striped crop top. It's actually by Guess, but I got it from Plato's Closet, so thrifted. And then these slacks are actually just J. Crew gray slacks. And I kind of reversed from what she had. Her slacks were like pinstriped. So since my slacks are like plain color gray, I decided to put stripes 
on the top. See what I did there? So yeah. And then, so the pants are thrifted. This is a completely thrifted outfit actually, now that I look at it. So pants are thrifted. Shoes are actually thrifted too. These are some of my favorite finds. These are just my yellow Adidas. They are thrifted and they're like a really nice like silky material. So cute. So a little bit of color down on my shoes because they're yellow and white. So here is the full outfit. I had to straighten my hair because I just knew this outfit was going to look better with straight hair. But so here it is. Oh, my bra straps are showing. That's not cute. We'll cover that with my hair. But so there's the back of it. I love this. I'm like so comfortable in it. I feel like I can just go and like run errands all day in it and still be super cute. So that's what it looks like. <sighs> Yeah. And then obviously I gotta give you guys a lower shot so you can kind of see the shoes happening. I love this. I'm so glad I recreated this because this reminds me of like 90s kind of too, I feel like. Like yeah, this is how people used to dress in the 90s. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, but so she also had a bag with her outfit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bag for mine too. And I'm gonna add in this little baby like laser leather cut. It's leather laser cut design. It's just a Rebecca Minkoff. It's really just like a clutch purse. You can carry it like this, but I'm going to open it up because like the chain fits so nicely, like right inside of it. And this one's actually, I think I already put this one on my Depop, but I'm reselling it because I never really carry it. But and see, look, I still even have the TJ Maxx tags on it. It still has all the tags on it. So I just never carry it. I'm going to close well because the tags are trying to come out. We'll just take the tags out. You guys already know the tags are still on. So yeah, so then there's with the purse, and here's like the full outfit. Actually it's really cute, and it's like simple, but it's still like you're so comfortable you can go around and do whatever you need to do for the day. That's why I really like it, so here it is. So one more time, here is this full outfit with everything. The purse, ignore the tags, it still has the store tags on it. So yeah. So I love this outfit. Ooh, my lips look crazy pink right now. Do they look crazy pink to you? But anyways, so for my makeup, or at least for my lips, someone just texted me my phone. At least on my lips, my hair is like all over my face. Right now. But so I lined my lips first with my NYX pencil. This is in the number 858. It is just nude pink. So I all the way lined it and filled it in. I always fill in like the inner part of my lip right there because I hate when there's like a line of like your actual lip color and then your lipstick. I hate that. And then I tried to do something different today with my lips and I used the Revlon. There's just one of these guys and it's just the Revlon in the number 680. It is a super lustrous cream lipstick. It is in the color Temptress. It's like a really bright pink. Let's see if I can show you guys. I like these because they have like clear tops. So when you're like at the store, you can actually see the color unlike some other brands, but there it is. It's just a really nice pink. It's on my lips already so you can see what it looks like, but there's that one. On to the next outfit. Okay, so here is the next outfit in its whole thing. I feel like it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person, but I wanted to do an outfit that really kind of like, kind of took a risk for me. It was something just way different than what I would usually do. So I paired, this is almost 100% thrifted also. Like my whole closet is thrifted basically. But so this is just a crop top. I really like it because it's like really sporty chic. It's actually, if you can maybe tell, Maybe not in my mirror, but it's like a meshy material and it's like stretchy, but it's just a really nice crop top. It's got a little bit of a hint of red in there, so it's bringing a little bit of different color. This is by the brand City Tech. Not sure where you get that from, but it's thrifted. And then this skirt is the main piece of the outfit. I guess I'll talk to you guys this way so you're not looking in the gross mirror. I don't know why it's so dirty. Like, I don't even do anything in that mirror. It's so weird. But so yeah, this skirt is like the main part of the outfit. It is real leather it is wilson's leather brand and i actually thrifted this too which is crazy i think i paid like four dollars for the skirt and it still had the tag on it i think it was this one i think it was this one that still had the tag on it for like a hundred dollars and i only paid four dollars for it as a skirt um so yeah so i love this skirt mini skirt all real leather 
It's got functioning pockets. As you can see, I'm sticking my hands in it. This is a super easy outfit, and then I just paired it with some black coat shoes. I wasn't really sure what shoes I was gonna wear with it, but I was like sneakers. Sneakers to match like with the top, you know? Here is so that you can kind of see the bottom half of the outfit a little bit better with the sneakers. Is the lighting better this way, you guys? Because I have a lamp in here now to like show it, but. So there's that, and just the back is just simple, you know? I love this. Again, it's like casual, sporty. We'll come back up. It's like my hair is always so flat up top lately. It's so weird. I think it's just because my hair is getting so long. It's just like getting like so weighed down. Pero es que mi pelo es tan largo, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer, ya? Yeah? But so if it did get a little cooler when I'm wearing this, I decided I wanted to throw on like some kind of sweater. So I just grabbed this one. Again, this one is thrifted. It is a Michael Kors. It is 100% cashmere, and I really, really like the fit of it. I just love it. Love it. So I wear this often, but I figured I didn't want something that was going to be too colorful to add on top, and I didn't want something black because I feel like that's so boring. It's like straight black. Um... Of an outfit so I would just kind of throw this on and like look how effortless that is I feel like we've got a lot of textures happening but since these are black I feel like it's okay and then my Fitbit making an appearance too to make this look super sporty so then it's just like that if it's like cooler and then it's like it makes the leather like not so harsh too since you have such a soft like material on it's just like so easy you know I guess I can try to give you guys a better view of the shoes. They're just coach. Does anyone wear coach shoes anymore? I don't know. I do. I love buying them from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, especially when they go like a little bit marked down. But this is just silver, black, and white. I wish it didn't have silver in there, but I guess it's okay because I have a silver bracelet on, so it's all right. It's not like overload. So yeah, there is this outfit with like the cardigan over top and... My hair's so long that I don't know what to do with it at this point. <laughs> Here we are, guys, on the last outfit. So far, it looks like this is a very plain outfit. This isn't even the thrifted part of it, but... So, I'm gonna throw on a thrifted sweater on top of this, but I want to show the dress underneath first. So, it is just this, like, long bodycon dress. I actually got this one from Nordstrom Rack the other day. It was only, like, $14, $15, really inexpensive. And it's, like, such nice material. It is so soft and so stretchy. Ooh, beautiful the color to die for so did that just the dress very simple and then I wanted to wear shoes that would kind of not cut my legs off even more but I wanted it to match the sweater so the sweater is gray so I decided to go with these gray booties I actually just got these as well from DSW my fave place you guys already know these are Calvin Klein little booties and they're like a stretch material around the ankle and then they're suede. I got these on sale but not as on sale as I should have but I just had to have them. Just the way they like hug around my ankle it like I feel like elongates my legs even more weirdly. The brand of the dress I think is something called like Leith. It's like L-E-I-T-H I-D-K but that's what it is. Yeah, I wanted to take pictures of everything before I threw on my sweater because I'm going to fry as soon as I throw that sweater on. So um, I did change my lip up just a little bit so it wasn't so bright pink and then with the fuchsia of the dress. Oh, my hair. Why do I look loca? Still? Okay, a little bit better. All right, so I darkened up my lips just a little bit. I kept on that pink lipstick, and then on top of it, I just went in with another NYX. Not sponsored at all, but I just am obsessed with NYX, and I have, like, every color, so I try to use them. And so I don't, like, wear them, like, every day out, like, to work and stuff. So my videos is where I get to wear my NYX soft matte lip creams. So that's why I'm always showing them. I always have them on because I have them all. I'm not going to just, like, look at them. got to wear them. So um, on top of, like, the really pinky lipstick there that I already had on. I just added this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color 23, it's Berlin. I think it's one of the newer ones. I could be totally off and wrong, but we're gonna go with it. I'll just quickly show you guys the full dress back here before I throw on the sweater. Just looks like this. 
pretty plain. You can probably see like all of my lines. That's how body hugging and like so soft of a material this dress is. It just shows everything, but I love it. So just gonna go quick. This is the dress all together. And then with the shoes, I've just thrown on like, oh, what's it called? A denim jacket, but I feel like I do that so often and it's still kind of chilly here. Like it snowed yesterday. It literally snowed yesterday in April. So I'm just going to throw on a sweater, right? Here is the full look with like the thrifted part on it. It's just the sweater. And of course I didn't check the brand of the sweater before I put it on. Of course. I think it was like Moda. It's the Moda. It's got to be the Moda International. It's like M-O-D-A International. But it's wool. Um, it's just like a cropped sweater. Just gray. It's like got darker gray and like a lighter gray kind of mixed in. But I really like it. And then it's got a nice length sleeve. So I just threw that on. And then I also threw on some like studded earrings to go with it. Yeah, so I just threw on some like studded hoops to make it a little bit more glamorous, I guess, because why the hell's not? Here is the full outfit with the sweater on and everything. I feel like this will look better, though, with my hair up in a ponytail. And I'm like really hot, so I feel like my hair needs to maybe go up. Okay. I feel like it's better with a ponytail, right? My hair looks crazy, but ponytail is better. I got bumps galore in it. What ifs? I feel like this outfit really needs a purse. I didn't have a good purse to throw with it, so I was like, why not just do this one? Um, I don't think I would wear it like this. I feel like it needs to be like shortened, which is cool. You can do it this one too. Just kind of put it through, or is this going to be too short? Because then you would do the other one too. There. That's like a better length, right? With the purse, to have it be like this. Yeah, so with the purse... There you go, there you go, there you go. I think it's cute. <laughs> there, this is like so much better with like a ponytail, right? Even though my hair, I got like crazy bumps. Who knows how to do a ponytail anymore? Clearly not Anna. So that's what my hair is gonna look like. But I just feel like it looks so much better, like more polished. Kind of like a sophisticated, glamorous type look with your hair up. Okay. And so now that my hair is up in a ponytail, it's a lot better. And then it's just like this. So that is the last outfit. There's going to be a fan behind me. Oh, I don't know what to do with it. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the outfits that I put together. I will also try to be putting pictures on my Instagram as well as my blog so you guys can get better pictures, better idea of the outfits. I was going to say something else too and I forgot. Oh, I was going to say, let me know which ones of the outfits was your favorite. And I also have this little baby hair that's like driving me insane. Can you see this little guy? Um, I'm not alfalfa. My name's Anna. So I'm going to need this to like chill for reals. The blog is really slowly, slowly coming together as well as my Depop shop. I've just been so incredibly busy that that's like, I don't want to come home and have to do that too. It's just been so much happening, but I'm slowly getting around to it because they are two things that I have really been enjoying doing. There's two things that I've really wanted to do for a long time. So please bear with me. Stay tuned for all of the things to be added on there. There's going to be stuff for sale added onto my Depop shop and all of the outfits are slowly showing up on my blog as well. So hope you guys enjoy these videos. Stay tuned for more because I really, really enjoy doing these for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!